Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas, and this week, our new catalog launched. I'm so excited about this, y'all. It is um, amazing. It's amazing. That's, that's the only word I have for it. It is beautiful, and it's full of so many great Stampin' Up! things. Um, I started to not do a catalog walkthrough this time, but there's so much good stuff in here. I wanted to go through a few things. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you probably know the annual catalogs, well not just the annual catalogs, all Stampin' Up! publications. That's my go-to place for inspiration and ideas, what I'm creating. Um, I go, I actually go to the catalogs first, and then I might go to Pinterest. Um, usually I go to blog challenges. I love, I love sketch challenges and color challenges. Sketch challenges are my favorite. But, um, but number one is always the catalogs and other publications that Stampin' Up! puts out. This is more than just a little shopping thing. It is full of inspiration, full of, um, I'm rambling, but it's because I'm so excited. I'll stop. Let me flip the camera around and I'll start telling, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You'll see. Okay. So here's the catalog. First off, is this not gorgeous? So as soon as I saw the cover, I knew I wanted whatever stamp set this was because I love this paper. Um, and I love the sentiment. I always love the wordy stamps. Um, and I also, I really like this part here where it looks like it's been like pulled out of a spiral notebook, um, but without all the mess. I really liked that. And by the way, this is Hues of Happiness. Um, if you like it too, check out my blog because I've been creating cards with this all week. Okay, so inside we just have more beautiful things. Um, I love the, the little things, the little notes that Stampin' Up! has left for us in here. This one says, paper crafting is even better when you ex enjoy the experience with others. Gather your friends and family and share something special today. And that is one of my favorite things about stamping is, um, sharing it with others when you're when you're creating. It's just a fun thing to make cards together or scrapbook together um, or make projects together. It, it's fun to have that community with you when you're doing something creative. Um, but it's also fun to make the cards and then send them to someone that you care about. Um, the table of contents. This has some important stuff. Of course it lists out all of the sweets. Um, product suites include a stamp set, um, and then they usually include something like designer series paper, um, dies, we'll see as we look through. Um, and then, but this is what I really want you to see on this side. The N. If there's an N next to the product, that means it's new in this catalog. We've not had it before. If it has the two little flowers, that means it's a reversible stamp. So, and I had one out earlier. But what this means is it's photopolymer, so it's clear. Um, I was looking to see if I have one on my desk. I don't. Um, but it's clear, and on one side you get the lined image, and then you can stamp the back and um, get more of a solid image. And Jars of Flowers comes to mind. That's an older set that we have. Um, but it is reversible. Distinctive stamps. These are cling stamps that um, they, they are amazing because some parts are, they're just really detailed. And um, then we have quick and easy cards. I, at the end of the last catalog period, I made a blog, uh, a YouTube video showing some of the quick and easy cards in that catalog that you could recreate. And then we have in the US, um, you can buy stamps in English or in French. So always make sure when you see this that you're grabbing the language that you want because they have different um, item codes when you go to order online. 
Okay, so this is Engage Your Way. So you obviously can just shop the catalog. There's so much goodness in this catalog. Um, but if you're new to stamping, or if you're stamping with somebody new to stamping, or want to buy a gift for somebody, then I recommend shopping either Paper Pumpkin, which I believe is on another page, um, or Crafting with Kits. So when you order kits, I'm going to pop my, my website up down below. I'll put it right here so that you can hop on over to my website and um, you can see my blog, but also you can shop my store if you're so inclined. Um, so you can order kits. Kits have everything that you need, like everything, except for maybe scissors. Um, but you probably don't need to add anything else. And they also, there's some kits that you can get that do not have any stamping involved. It's all pre-done, pre pre-printed, so you don't even have to stamp. You just put them together. So this is a great option for kids. It's a great option for beginner stampers, um, for groups. Like if you want to do a office appreciation party or a ladies' night out or something like that, then these are great to get. Everybody can pick their own kit. And then... Um, and then they can, you can all put them together, together. So that's a lot of fun. They can even be done together over Zoom. Okay, you can host a party um, and get rewards. And of course you can join, become a demonstrator. You, you get a discount, you get to be part of our amazing community of demonstrators, and um, you get a sneak peek at the things that are coming up and sometimes you can also pre-order well you can always pre-order some um, but usually not everything of what's coming out in a new catalog I love this page I wish I had a print like this in my craft room on the wall that would be great so all of our products coordinate um, that makes it really easy to create with and we have suites where everything coordinates specifically within that suite but then those things will also coordinate with other things outside of the suite so here's paper pumpkin and again I'm gonna pop my link up down here so that you can see where to go if you would like to subscribe with me um, and this just shows you what you can get in a kit so this is the um, I think the robot kit we don't have all the kits put we don't have any of the kits I mean this is pretty much it that we have in the catalog and we don't have with item codes or um, prices or anything like that because the kits are available while supplies last so as they run out the new kits will be added in and you won't be able to get the old kits anymore so we just don't even have them in the catalog you have to go straight to the website to see those Okay, so this is one of those suites that I was talking about. This is pretty amazing. So every year, Stampin' Up! has new in colors. We get five new in colors. They're here for two years, and then they're gone. So each year, we welcome a new set of in colors, and we say goodbye to an old set of in colors. So our new in colors this year are Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tad, Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. So this suite in the designer series paper and the envelopes and cards, you have all five, plus some other colors, but you have all five of the end colors for this year, which I love. I love the brightness of these colors. This suite is on my definite need to get it list. Um, I don't have it yet, but I will. All of these cards here will be super fun to case, which I define as case and share everything. That's how I was taught it at the beginning of my um, Stampin' Up! experience, but I know that some people, um, I, there's different versions of that now. So for the suite, you would get the designer series paper, the cards and envelopes, this amazing stamp set. I love this font and 
these teacups are too cute. Plus you get the dies, and if you would like to see the dies bigger and get a better idea of what all this includes, you can flip back to page 162. It shows it right here, and um, so you can go back to that page and you'll see a bigger picture of those. Um, and of course when you buy the bundle, you always get 10% off. And that 10% savings of just the bundle is included if you purchase the whole suite together. Um, so you would have to use this item code. And then you can notice here, there's your little N in a box. So this is a brand new item. And this icon here, this little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, means that everything in the in the dies will fit in the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So you wouldn't have to have the big one for this. But of course, they'll also work in the big stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, I'm not gonna go through and so show you every single um, stamp set in here. I would love to, but we'd be here all day. So um, I'm just going to flip through a little bit and point out that you can learn a little bit about techniques. Um, if you pay attention to these little thumbtacks and the, the words that are written around here, um, you can also get ideas for color coordination just by seeing how the different colors were used in these projects. Whenever there's a, a fun product that maybe hasn't been talked about, you can see what page number it's on. So you can flip back and see, find out more information about these peekaboo treat bags, like how many there are and what colors come in that set. So I've already gone through and highlighted just a few things that I had previously, but I have by no means gone through and done a complete highlight yet of um, what all I already have and what I've purchased since then. So here's another, there's no words here, but this is showing you how you can make the sun, which I think is really cool and an idea that I'm going to have to copy probably not with this stamp set because I don't have the stamp set, but I love that idea. And you can look at the bottom too. So this is not a bundle. You can tell it's not new. Um, at one point it was a bundle though. And so it tells down here that it coordinates with tulip dies. So even though it's not available as a bundle anymore, you can still get the dies that coordinate with this. They're just listed in the back. And then here um, is a mini pocket envelope that you can make with the dies, and it shows the page number of that as well. If you're new to stamping, you need a paper trimmer. So it tells you um, where you can find one of those. I love Stampin' Up's paper trimmers. I use mine daily, multiple times a day. There's so many good things in here. So this one coordinates with the Beautiful Shapes dies, which was originally in the mini catalog. So you can see that these, these um, shapes here, they're kind of shaded, faded out another color and um, so you can tell that those are the ones that you can use with the die. Of course, these sentiments, let me see, I'm looking on the screen instead of looking on my um, catalog on my desk because I want to make sure what I'm pointing at is actually in the screen. Um, it's a little disorienting sometimes, but these sentiments, of course, will fit also in these shapes, and um, this set, it does include different sizes of circles and hexagons. Isn't that kitten cute? I keep wanting, I don't have this yet, but I want to stamp that kitten with the butterfly on its nose. I think that would be adorable. This is a great suite if you have children or um, teenagers or maybe if you just love butterflies. This is a fun suite uh, with lots of bright colors. I'm really excited about this set. It's another one that's on my I have to have it list. Um, so when you sell a million dollars worth of product with Stampin' Up, you get to design a stamp set. 
So Lisa Curcio reached her million dollars um, sales achievement, and this is the set that she designed. And I love it because each of these sentiments comes with a die that you can use to cut these out so you don't have to spend time fussy cutting. Um, and there's also extra dies in this set. So there's cancel. I'm going to pull this up so you can see this better. So you can see you've got the dies that match the words perfectly, but then you also have some hearts and stars, a border, some candles, lots of fun stuff in there. And did you notice you can do like a shooting star? I definitely have to have this. also on my must-have list. My daughter is a swim instructor here locally, and so I think I really must have this. In fact, it's supposed to be here tomorrow um, so I can start creating with it. And while we're on this page, notice the clock. So this card is really fast. This is a quick and simple card to make. Then you can step it up a little, or you can step it up a lot. We have our Christmas section. Aren't these fun? And Happy Forest Friends. Here's another suite that um, it's just adorable. It's just really cute. I think I need this suite too. I love the designer series paper in this. These are not, these are all, it's funny, these are colors that I use a lot. All of these, except maybe Sosafron. I use daffodil a lot a bunch, um, but I've never put them together like this before. So that's one of the things that I love about looking through the catalog is you can see these colors all together and then go, oh yeah, I really like that. Or maybe I want to use these three or these three together. Um, it's just, it's just awesome. Isn't this cute? This is another one that I'm getting tomorrow. Fun stuff here. Love these little piggies. These guys are new. So is some of the other stuff I've passed. Okay, here's a very elegant suite. This is Abigail Rose. And I love the way that they have stamped right on the ribbon. That's a neat um, addition there. And look, you can see here it is on the card. They've stamped the ribbon and then stuck it straight down underneath the flowers. I might need that ribbon. And you'll probably notice if you have the mini catalog and have spent some time looking through it that there's quite a few stamp sets and items from the mini catalog that have been already added to this catalog. I love. I love seeing that some of my favorites from the mini are going to be sticking around in this catalog. So we get to play with them longer. A Wash and Beauty is another gorgeous suite. This paper, y'all, I love, love, love this paper. And then look at these embellishments. These are iridescent pearl basic jewels. So there are pearls, but they're stepped up just a little bit. Um, because they're iridescent, which I love. We have the iridescent rhinestones already, and they have become one of my favorite embellishments. Lots of fun stuff here. Love these sets with the punches. So these punch bundles. Um, another great item for new stampers. So if you've been stamping for just a little bit and you're starting to build your supplies up, um, some of these punch bundles are the way to go before you're ready to invest in the stamp and cut and emboss machine or the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So lots of great ideas on these pages. Here's another quick card. Here's He's the Man Suite. So I've done a couple of cards with this suite, and I can already tell it's going to be a fantastic suite for pretty much any man in your life. It has 
tools, it has fishing, it has camping, it has grilling, it has old cars, it has um, like travel RV stuff. Like it is, okay, I said fishing. I might have made the fishing part up. I feel like something in it is fishing. Hmm, I'm not sure. But even if you have no desire to get any of this, I still would really recommend you take a look at the dies if you have a stamp cut and emboss machine that come with this set because these dies, I'll show them to you more at the end, but um, when we get to page 164, but these are perfect for not just these stamps, you can use them with any sentiment stamp. Um, and this, this bigger one here or this one here, you, they're good just background stamps. It, that is that is one of the first sets. So I got this set and I got Hues of Happiness. Not set. Sweet. I got the sweets um, with my very first pre-order for this catalog. I love these. These are not part of the He's the Man suite. These are dies. And this is too. This is a die that they've paper pieced. I believe it is. Um, it might be. So one thing I didn't really talk about here is the He's the Man Suite, the DSP comes with two sheets of pre-cut die images. Um, let me just show that to you real quick. Okay, so you get two of these sheets and these are all just dies that you can pull out. And they're already just pre-printed and ready to go. Aren't those great? And so both of the sheets are exactly the same. Um, and I'm not seeing any fishing anything in here. Maybe I am crazy. Just a little bit. It's okay. Okay, I had already gone a couple of couple pages. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to mention through here. If you don't have a catalog and you're in the U.S. and you would like to have a catalog um, and you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to send you one or you can go to my website and look at it online if you don't want a paper copy. So this sun print, isn't this gorgeous? Like I can't decide what's my favorite thing about this suite. I think it's got to be the paper though. And I've got to show you something else when we get to the designer series paper in the back that has to do with that suite. So here's one of those reversible stamps. You can see here, it's reversible. So these jar stamps, you can stamp here and then you can take it, clean it and take it off your block and put it on backwards and then stamp the solid image behind it. Texture Chic is another gorgeous suite with some specialty paper. This is a good all year stamp set. So much good stuff. I just really want to talk, stop and talk about every bit of it. Here's the Hues of Happiness suite. Oh my goodness. I was going to not talk about anything else, but isn't this gorgeous? These papers and these colors. So here's something to, to note. It shows six colors on all of these suites um, when it's talking about the designer series paper. Most of them have more than six colors in them. So when you look at the back, mm, when you look on the packaging, here's that he's the man set of DSP. So it will show right here the rest of the colors when you purchase it. Um, so you can look at that quickly, but if you're trying to decide if you want it, then when you flip to the back in the designer series paper section, and I'm just going to go ahead and go show you this. I want to show you a couple of things back here real quick. So it shows the rest of the colors. So this one's Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, 
mossy meadow, knot of navy, and pool party. So lots of colors in there and um, great ideas for color combinations. So if you didn't see it already, Tuesday, my card from the catio, uh, catio, my card from the catalog video was based on this scrapbook page right here. It turns into a gorgeous card. Um, and of course, I love the glossy dots. More great stuff here. This is a fun bundle. So when you see things like this, this says artwork shown at 50%. So you know that all of these are actually going to be larger stamps than what you see here. And so there's an example over here of the size that they actually are. This is shown at the actual stamped image size. Um, but this is a cool set because you can make your own words with the stamps and you can use the punch to punch each letter out. And there's extra little there's flowers, um, an exclamation mark, stars, just extra little things to go along with it too. These stamps are all huge. They measure, it doesn't say what they measure and I have forgotten. Just a second. Okay, here's my stacked stone stamp. So again, on the stamp it says um, or on the case it says image at 80%. So this is not as big as even it's going to be. So this is how big it actually is. Um, and this is... So the actual stamp, the actual rubber is four and three quarters by almost six inches. So um, these are great for backgrounds. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do with these. You do need either block F, this is a nice big block, um, or they work great with the Stamparatus also. If you don't know about our angel policy, if you like to make cards or scrapbook pages paper products of any kind with Stampin' Up's products to sell, then you need to stamp on the back um, copyright Stampin' Up. And so this set, limited edition, it has stamps that have that, um, that copyrighted image on it. So some of them, most of them already have copyright Stampin' Up included. You can also though just stamp copyright stampin up this is a single stamp all by itself and so you can add that to like this one that says just for you or a paper hug from me or you can leave it off or you can just stamp this by itself you don't have to use this if you're just giving your cards away or giving away items but if you are selling them if you're making money on them at all then you do need to use the copyright stampin up oh my goodness isn't this gorgeous I just love this display of color. Just looking at it for a minute just because it's so colorful and cheerful. Okay, so here's all of our color collections. That's what it says right there, color collections. So <clears throat> here's our 2022 to 2024 in colors, our 2021 to 2023 in colors, and then we have the rest of our colors separated into color families. So we have brights, neutrals, regals, and subtles. And then we also have just the basics. So this would be very vanilla, basic white, um, our bronze and ivory stampin' blends, basic black, and the color lifter, which is also um, a stampin' blend. So in each of these lists, you have your eight and a half by 11 cardstock across the top, then your classic stampin' pad, which is this one here. Um, you would also have your ink refill to refill those Stampin' Pads um, and your Stampin' Blends combo packs. So if you go over to what color you want, say you want Old Olive and you want Stampin' Blends. So this is the item number that you would use for that. Um, my favorite color family is the Bratz and has been the entire time I've been stamping. 
the colors change every few years maybe just a little bit maybe a lot but they like to keep them um, fresh and current so but every time brats brats are my favorite um, I'd love to hear what your favorite is if you're starting to gather up quite the um, stock of supplies you might want to look into our storage by Stampin' Up you have the option for Stampin' Blend storage marker storage this also holds the ink pad so the ink pad would slide in here and then your marker slides in here this is just a little open storage cube that fits with everything else um, you have just a basic flat topper lid so you can see that is in use right here and then they put the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine on top of that or you can have this kind of topper storage it's a little tray and it's great for things like this um, like these refills so and you can see it's modular storage so you can stack it any way you like so we do have assortment bundles for a lot of this um, we have eight and a half by 11 cardstock assortments 12 by 12 you can get the classic Stampin pad bundles the ink refill bundles and the Stampin right marker assortment so the only way right now to buy the Stampin right markers is in an assortment so you can buy the brats the neutrals the regals the settles um, each gear of in colors or you can buy all the markers together as one huge set um, and then all the adhesives and y'all back in the day way back a long time ago I thought no way that any one person needs that many adhesives do you know I have every single one of these now every single one and I use them I use them all so yes if you are a crafter, you need all of these adhesives. You don't have to have all of the adhesives. I definitely have my favorites. So I use liquid glue and dimensionals every time I craft. Almost every time, maybe every time I craft. Um, but other people use the stamp and seal. Other people use the stamp and seal instead of liquid glue. So, you know. There's, I do use this for some things, but I don't use it every day I stamp. Um, again, tear and tape is something that some people decide to use instead of either one of these. So it is depending on the project and depending on the person, but I do use all of these. And of course, you can just start out with one type of adhesive and, um, and just use that. And... If you get the kits, all your adhesive is included. Whatever you need to put that particular kit together is included in the kit. It's usually dimensionals and glue dots. Okay, some fun things to stamp up your project. Not stamp up, to step up your projects here. Love these blending brushes. You can get a set of three and use them for all the colors. I like to use one for my greens, one for my pinks. I think I bought, in the end, I ended up buying four sets of these. Um, but I have two that I've never used. They're my backups. So, it's up to you how you want to do it. To clean those, you just brush them off until the ink stops coming out. Alright, and here's our designer series paper. Is this not the most gorgeous designer series paper you've ever seen? all of it almost all of it I'm not crazy about this one but I know other people who love love it um, this is my number one favorite but look at this isn't this gorgeous so this is like that Sun Prince which is over here it was part of the suite um, but it comes in different colors I need this in my life I love these colors and then this one is perfectly penciled this was also in my pre-order it is all black and white and it's perfect for coloring with your Stampin' Blends, your markers, even your pencils. It's just a fun thing to sit down and color with. And then you can use those colored images to make your cards. 
And then here's our in color designer series paper. So each year we have designer series paper for our color families. Um, they're six by six. And you get, there's four different designs. So these are all double sided. So one side is this one, and then one side is this one, and then one side is this, and the opposite side is this. Um, and you get it in each of the colors. So they, each set has 40 sheets in it. The end colors, it's four each of two double-sided de designs. Um, the color families are normal color families that stick around a while. Those are a little different because there's more colors. So you get two each of two double-sided designs, but you still have 40 sheets. And then this is the host set. So when you host a party or if you get together with friends and just have a really big order that you want to put in, um, I say really big, it's $150. When your order reaches $150, you can get host rewards and you can use your host rewards to purchase anything in the catalog, but um, there's special things like this host paper that you get at a discount. So this is $18, it's a $30 value but it's $18 and you can only get it with rewards. You can't just purchase this in a regular order. And we have our memories and more for um, pocket scrapbooking and here's a little album. This is six by eight and then the pages to put in it. Um, this is cool. This is new. This is a craft note cards and envelopes. So it's that craft paper which is really fun to stamp on and a little bit different and it also comes with pieces to make a box to put all of this in and there's 20 cards and 20 envelopes with one box in each set you can use them together as a gift um, or just for storage or you can use the box for um, maybe gift packaging and hang on to those note cards and then I love that the slimline envelopes have carried over from the mini catalog as well. And don't forget just our regular medium white and very vanilla medium envelopes because um, these are perfect for putting your standard size cards in. And I love them because you can stamp on them. Some great specialty papers, some craft paper. And then our embellishment start. This is more treat packaging and our watercolor paper. Our vellum card stock is the bomb. It is so good. It's thicker than um, what you would typically get. It stamps well. It's fun to do techniques with. Shimmery white is another one that I like to watercolor on. And the window sheets are perfect for um, doing some specialty type cards or I like to use it with my shaker cards. Okay, all of our beautiful embellishments here. I'm not going to go through them all. These are my favorite. I say it almost every time I write a blog post or do a video. I love the brush to bass, brass and butterflies and I need to order more. But all of them are good. Um, and I do use them all, but I, I find myself using these every week. And then here's our ribbons. I really recommend this white crinkled seam binding ribbon um, and also the white glittered organdy ribbon because you can use, um, I like to use my Stampin' Blends, but there's different ways. You can also use a spritzer, but you can add color. In fact, this piece, I used my ink pad. I just opened up my ink pad. It was kind of messy, but my fingers washed off. Um, so I just ran it across the top of my ink pad until I had it as pink as I wanted it. I didn't use this color. I used um, polished pink. So I still have the glittery part, but now instead of white, it's pink and it will match my project. Um, but I do recommend when you do that, do that part ahead of time so you can let it dry. The Baker's Twine, we have two packs. One is the Essential Colors, and then we have the new 2022-2024 in colors. Love these. Um, 
And I'm excited about these. I haven't bought any of this yet, but I want to. So you buy them individually, but this is the new end colors. And it's a 1 8 of an inch metallic woven ribbon. And I've heard great things about that. This is the Stamparatus I was talking about earlier for those big stamps, but you can use it for any size stamp. You don't you don't just use it for the big background stamps. I use mine all the time to get my stamps lined up absolutely perfectly, or if I know I'm going to be stamping several cards exactly the same, then I'll use the stamp so I can line up my um, stamps where I want them, and then just ink and stamp and ink and stamp. They're also good if you're wanting to get... Um, a nice deep solid stamp um, like if you want to restamp the same thing in the same spot several times or in different colors lots of lots of ways to use the stamparatus okay your blocks you have to have blocks if you're gonna stamp um, and sometimes I forget to tell people that but that's really important because all of our stamps come unmounted so it tells you on each of the stamp sets what size block they recommend let's see if I can I was running into my stand but down here at the bottom says A B D and E so those are the block sizes that you'll need to stamp with that stamp set um, so you can buy them individually but you can also buy a bundle and get them all um, at a 10% discount um, I use everything on this page. I don't use this so much because I don't travel with my stamps very much anymore. I keep all of my st um, blocks in. I keep all my blocks in this tray. I just picked it up from a local box store. I don't even remember which one. Um, and it just holds all of my stamp blocks except for the biggest one. And that one I just keep on my desk standing up. I definitely recommend the Stampin' Mist, especially for clean stamps. I use that with the Stampin' Scrub. And then for my photopolymer, I, I get um, one of these chamois wet, and I use it to clean my photopolymer stamps. And I store it inside of a stamp case. And then the grid paper is awesome for stamping on as well. And you got to have a little mat. So the mats, let's see, what is this called? This is the grid paper. This is new. This is exciting. I'll tell you about this in just a second. This is the Stampin' Pierce mat. Um, and it fits inside of one of these cases also. So it's good for if you're using photopolymer. It's good to put underneath your cardstock so you get a nice even image with your photopolymer stamps. Okay, so this is masking paper. So it's sticky. Um, but it's not super sticky, so you can stamp on it and then trim around your edges. What it basically does, I use post-it notes a lot when I'm masking, and so you can use this instead of a post-it note and the whole thing sticks down, but not so much that it's going to rip your paper or tear it at all. So we have all of our punch bundles. So down here you have the 10% bundle savings with that item code, or you can buy just the punch, and that item code is here. Um, and then, of course, it also tells you which page the stamp set is that coordinates with that punch. And then these punches are standalones, or um, they're just unbundled. So like the dragonflies, it does go with a um, stamp set. Dragonfly Garden, I believe, is the name of that one. And then the Hedgehog also has a stamp set it goes with. And then the Jar goes with Jar of Flowers. There's a Ladybug set. There's a set with a Deer. Um, on the stamp sets, on those pages, it will say, coordinates with Hedgehog Builder Punch. Here's some great tools to have. I hesitated to buy the Take Your Pick tool, and now I use it all the time. It has so many uses. Um, the thing I use it the most for, though, is picking up my embellishments off of the embellishment sheet and then moving them onto the card. Bone folder. Paper snips are the best 
scissors for um, fussy cutting. I could I don't know how I lived without those. Paper trimmer. This is a metric blade, so if you measure in metric, um, you can switch your blade out. This is a um, simply scored tool, so it has all these little lines in it, and you can use a scoring tool to get your straight scores real easy. Of course, this is a different tip for your take your pick tool, and you can um, use it to help get all those teeny tiny little pieces out of your die cuts. And then these are just refills for the petty end. So when you get your take your pick, you get this whole piece here, and this end pulls out. So it pulls out, you twist it and pull it out, and then it's pointed on one end and it's flat on the other. Um, and then it has another piece too, which is this one here. And it is, this is a stylus. It's a tiny little one on one end and a little bit bigger on the other. And then you get two of these ends with the putty. I lost my lid, but I'm not worried about it because I just lost it. It's gotta be here somewhere. But even if it's not, I'm almost out of putty in this one. So I'll be putting a new one on it soon and the new one will come with a new lid. So no worries. All right, here's our stamp and cut and emboss machines. I love these. Um, they fold up for easy storage. You can see there you have the regular size and then you have a mini. So when you see this mini, means all of this fits um, inside this tiny one. And this one is great because you can keep it right at your desk or travel with it, either one. Um, super handy to have. And we're getting magnetic cutting plates for our stamp and cut emboss machines. Super exciting. I don't think the mini one is yet is ready yet, but the um, the the bigger one is. I need to I need to make another order soon so I can get that. Okay, and then here's all of our die bundles. So if you look at these, see, I think I was going to show you the all that that's part of the he's all that bundle. So you can see how great these shapes would be. These these can be used with anything. So this shape does match some of the designer series paper that's part of the suite, but it would be good for any floral card I think it would be great on. Um, and then these are good with all kinds of sentiments or backgrounds or small images. Lots of good stuff. Okay, so just like the punches, um, you have the 10% bundled savings here. Tells you what page the stamp set's found on. And if you just want the dies, that item code is here and the price here. And then these are all dies, and a lot of these are standalone dies that don't coordinate necessarily with a specific stamp set. But you have the Artisan Editions, Basic Borders, I am, no, I have this. This is from the mini catalog. Let's see, there's something in here. I think it's on the last page. I'm excited about these. It's on my wish list. These are great. Um, and it tells you too, you can see these dies in use on page 26. So we can flip to 26 and so here's those dies. That makes a cute little tag, doesn't it? I like the way they did that. Here it is again. Um, and you can tell there's a little bitty die. I don't know about that. That one is tiny to make your little hole for your tags. This is fun. So there's lots, I think there's, I want to say 17, 16 or 17, 18, I don't know, there's quite a few dies that are standalone dies in here. The mini pocket envelope, definitely on my wish list. And I love this, I have the pretty pillow box dies, those have been around for a little bit, those are cool. Okay, the stylish shapes, I love that we have 
circles and squares and banners again and that they're all in a single stamp set. This is going to be used a ton. Um, this one is cool where it does the diagonal split and has different textures and shapes. This one, the Stitched with Whimsy, these don't cut these shapes. So I wish I had my mine over here for an example. But you're not actually cutting the shape with these, but you can put them like on the front of your card and it's going to do the stitching around the edges when you run it through. But it's not going to cut out the big rectangle. I hope I'm making sense there. And then the twigs and sprigs embossing folder and die. This one is pretty cool. Um, they coordinate together. You can see it in use on page 33, so maybe that'll help give you an idea of what that one does. So right here. So you can see how they've embossed the um, twigs and sprigs on the background here. And then here they've cut them out. And I've lost my page. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to all of our embossing folders. We've got quite a new few new ones. So the ones like this, this is two embossing folders and they're smaller and narrower so they fit inside the um, stamp cut and emboss machine, the mini stamp cut and emboss machine. And then here is our page that has all of the host rewards that you can get when you have a qualifying order of $150 or more you can use your reward points to buy these items and they are at discounted prices. Um, and then of course you can join Stampin' Up! for $99. Um, for that you get to choose $125 worth of product out of the catalog and it can be any current product. Um, so it can be from this catalog or the mini catalog. And during May, this is exciting y'all, when, when you join in May, you get all of the ink pads, all of the um, cardstock, you get the Stampin' Blends, and you get the coordinating grid paper that has the end colors on it. So that's quite a haul. It's $66.50 in the U.S. Um, additional product that you get on top of the $125 worth of product that you get to choose. So it's a really good deal and I don't know why I still have this facing down. Um, but it's a great deal and I would love to answer any questions that you have about it. Um, I'd love to have you on my team. So it's a small team so far which means I would have more time to spend helping you get started. Um, and I would love to help you even if you just want to sign up and get the discount, that is totally acceptable. Um, I think almost all of us have done that at one point or another, um, but then we realize that we're just too into it and we want to share it with others. So let me know if you have any of those questions. I have my links down below. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. Uh, this was kind of a long walk through, but there's just so much to be excited about, and I don't want you to miss anything. Um, I do do a card from the catalog every week. Sometimes it's exactly like the card in the catalog. Sometimes I change it up a little. Sometimes I change it up a lot, and I do take requests. So if there's something in the catalog you would like to know how to make, then just let me know. Or if there's something you see that you think is cool, but you want to try it with different colors or a different stamp set, um, and, but you're not sure you're ready to commit, then let me know and I'll, I'll do what I can to make that happen for you in a video. Alright y'all, have a great evening and happy stamping!